welcome back to my channel, Miss Tiffy Girl, going in the coupon and NC. I am Tamika coming at you with not an oldie, but a goodie video. So you guys, in this video, I am going to be talking about something very important, especially for container gardening. Um, in the live last night, it made me think about um, something that I can't remember who it was, but someone had mentioned about you can get the buckets from like the um, cake uh, like bakeries and stuff like that, the food grade buckets. So this is something that um, I have learned and I want to share with you guys. But anyone that is skeptical about growing in containers and stuff that's not food grade, um, you know, you, you do what makes you comfortable. So I want to share with you guys a couple of items and explain to you, you know, the difference between them. So first, when you're looking at containers, plastic in general, there are recycling numbers on the containers. So the main one that you want to steer away from is number three. If you see the little re recycling triangle and you see a number three in it, do not use that. Nine times out of ten, that is made with very harmful material. Do not use that. Um, one thing that I grow in a lot and y'all know if you followed me from last year from my garden is I use the Home Depot and I use the Lowe's five gallon buckets they are not food grade buckets so I'm going to show you guys I have a Home Depot bucket right here the back of it is number two I don't know if you can see it but there's a little triangle and it say HDPE and in that triangle it has the number two well, HDPE is high density path. Look, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> it is, it's, but it's it's high density and it is pop poly poly. Look, y'all, I can't I can't pronounce. You'll have to Google HP HDPE and then you'll see the long word. So basically, um, the plastic that you that is for that um, particular for number two is used for like your juices your milk jugs your grocery bag your squeeze bottles and stuff like that so things that you have food in uses that same so you can grow in it you can grow in it let me show you i have some examples so boar's head this is boar's head mustard i took this out of my refrigerator Y'all know I'm gluten-free, so I, if I have anything which I can't have mustard because of the reflux, but when I buy it, I buy boar's head. It don't matter that it's boar's head. My main concern is on the back, the little recycle triangle, recycle triangle is a number one, and it's going to say P-E-T-E. -E. Well, that is for like... Your, I had took my hat, bought, pulled my little notes out, y'all, so you see me looking to the side. That's for like your your sports drinks, your water bottles, your condiments, your ketchup, your oil, and stuff like that. Nine times out of ten, the recycling thing is going to be P E T E. And that's poly. Look, y'all look it up, please. Look it up, please. Um, so this has a number one. Most of your water bottles is number one, and it's a thinner plastic. That's what it means. It's a thinner plastic, pretty much, is what the one is. Um, we have the Hershey's um, Sir is a number two. It's a number two. So is... Whoosh! Oh, God. Allergies acting up. And Summer didn't get wiped down today, so I got to wipe Summer down because... I'm allergic to her. Y'all already know that. Uh, like literally, if you new to the channel, about two weeks ago, I had allergy tests done, and I'm literally allergic to dogs. But she's my anxiety companion. <laughs> so, but let me show you guys. Um, so the the Lowe's bucket. I showed you the Home Depot. The Lowe's bucket is also a number two. Now, questions. That people may have or may be skeptical about. All right, so the plastic is fine to grow in, but some people may be wondering about the the cup, like the dyes and stuff that they have painted the bus buckets with. I don't know, and it's really no known fact to know if any chemicals from the dyes leach into the buckets. 
Um, if it do, it's very small, you know, it's very small from, you know, my research. But I will say this. My buckets have went through all that rain we got last year, everything, and they haven't faded from what I can see or nothing like that. So I'm not worried about the dyes and stuff because this is why. When we go get these planters from the Dollar Tree, this one, I don't even think, let me see, does it have a recycle thing? Let me take this off. One thing about it, it's colored. It's colored with dyes and stuff. They don't know if you're using this for a vegetable or a flower plant. And it's, for, let's see, this is a number five. This is a number five. So, um, and you can use one, two, four, five is what kind of recommended for like growing. That will be fine. So some of your totes and stuff that you get, look at the back. Now I will say those clear, y'all seen my totes are the gray ones, um, the more sturdy ones, the, the 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 sturdy ones. But you know they do have those clear shoebox looking totes and stuff like that. Stay away from those because they will break down very quickly because the sun, once you get the growing in that sun, that hot sun beams onto them, they'll melt down. So stay away from those clear ones. I have showed y'all the gray totes, the, the dark colored totes that I have, like those, those tough, you know, totes. So I'm going to show you guys a couple more things. So I told you like your ketchup. This is Hunt's ketchup and the recycle is one. Um, and like I said, the only thing, there's no proof about the dyes and stuff of the bucket. If you want to go get food grade buckets from Home Depot or Lowe's, by all means. But I'm growing in these. I had no problems last year. Um, none of that. I ain't seen no, you know, that's up to you to do. Uh, but the recycling part of it, it, you know, you can grow in it. Um, also, like I told you, those buckets are two. The mayo is one. Um, so we got the, let's see, the mustard was one. And actually, for my research, two is what's recommended. Highly, that's the two is the type of plastic for you for you guys that don't know. And one, well, all of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they're the type of plastic. But three is the one you stay away from. And that one is where your shrink um, and clean wrap and your sandwich bag and your tamper resistant seals and stuff like that is made out of three. So it's made with a lot of different chemicals. So that's why they say stay away from number three. If you get a recycling thing with them, do not grow in that. But the things I have showed you guys, it is two. It is, they are two. Um, and as you can see, like um, some of the, the food that we get, um, I didn't have any butter in the tub, but I think butter is, let's see, I think butter falls under, yep, butter falls under two, which is the same as the buckets. Um, let's see, what is this one? But I use, I have just the, like the paper box butter in there because I use the um, vegan butter. I'm trying to look and see of this plastic thing. Yep, this one is one, um, which is like, and this is almond butter. Um, I even took out the milk, y'all. So this is almond milk, and y'all can see that. That's a two HDPE, which is the same plastic that the buckets, the five gallon buckets from Home Depot and um. Lowe's is made of. Um, for example, we got these plants from the Dollar Tree. I don't see a recycled thing on here, but they don't know what you're growing. On the picture, they only have a picture of flowers. They don't have a picture. Let's see. Well, it do say showcase your flowers and herbs. Um, in here, so yeah, that's telling you you can grow plants. But I wanted to bring this to your attention. And show you guys, you know, I won't worry about the color. That's just me. Um, 
I, I feel like everything got dyes and color into it. Um, and you just, you just never know. But when you're growing in the grass, um, different things run off in soil and stuff like that. So if you look at it, um, long as that number is three, I mean, not three, long as that number is not three, you should be able to grow in it. Um, and you start getting up with different things with the five and sixes. Um, and stuff like that, but I do know one, two, four, five, you should be able to grow in those with no problem. So I hope this answered the question for us. Is it safe to be growing food in those five gallon buckets? I say yes. Um, like I say, I haven't seen anything faded. I don't see like where there is any of the color is, is going out of the, you know, is doing anything or uh, anything like that. Um, yeah so i hope this was helpful i was able to show you that some of the like like the milk cartons and stuff like that has the same numbers i'm looking around to see and then also say i have it right here if i didn't say it the cold two is for your juices your milk jugs your squeeze balls your grocery bags your butter your vinegar your chocolate syrup and etc um it's just the only thing with that is whatever they do because they know food is going in it but um these right here and like the only thing on this bucket is just like uh a warning about kids not falling in the bucket and drowning um but like i say they are number two so they should be fine you got some places some people say you shouldn't grow in and some people say you should and my thing is, let me just go ahead and say this. When it comes to the food grade, from my understanding, oh yeah, I got to hit on two, a couple more things, y'all. From my understanding, when it comes about the food grade buckets, my understanding, they also help keep bacteria and stuff from coming into the food or whatever you're storing. Storing. Also, there there has been issues where people are saying, you know, BPA chemicals and stuff like that. Again, from my research and my understanding, BPA is really activated when things when it's heated up. When you heat up plastic that has BPA in it, um, that's when that can that chemical can can leach into foods and stuff like that. Um, I don't think the heat from the sun is gonna be hot enough to make if it, if it's that hot. If the heat from the sun that hot, then you need to be watering it, watering them plants so they don't die. <laughs> um, because at the end of the day, they need water. And it's going to, you know, cool down. So, um, container garden, I, I don't, I'm not saying that you need no food grade buckets. But also, but like in the live, um, if you were to go to like the bakeries and stuff like that, of course, those buckets would be food grade buckets. And... You can grow in those too. So I say, um, you know, do that. And then it's cheaper. They may give them to you or give them to you for a little or nothing. Or they, or they just may be free or whatever the case may be. So, yeah. So I hope that was information. Um, remember, one, two, you can get away with four and five. But if you see the little triangle and there's a three in it, do not grow in that don't grow in that um let me see uh, i'm trying to think is there anything else i think i covered everything so yeah but i just want to show you that other than the dyes or whatever they say the dyes the chemicals from the dyes and the color of the um thing um i ain't worried about that um the plastic the bucket itself is made from a recyclable plastic that you can use now you ain't gonna go get one of these now i'm gonna tell you that don't 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 nobody go get down one of these buckets that's not food grade bucket and go put your flour and your rice and stuff in i'm not telling you to do that i wouldn't do that do not do that if you're gonna do that get a food grade bucket if you're gonna do that but we talking about to grow in the bucket to grow in the container is to grow. So don't be like, oh, I can go put my, I can, I can go put my rice and my flour off in one of these, you know, three, four dollar buckets from Home Depot and, and Lowe's, and it ain't food grade, and it'll be just fine.
Please do not do that. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm telling you, you can grow in the buckets. Um, so, yeah, you guys. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that I upload a video. I hope it was helpful. And please share this video because this is a very important video far as, you know, people starting doing container gardening and may have those questions. That way, the more you share, the more you thumbs up, the more people can um, see this video. And hopefully, it'll help somebody. So, with that being said, thank each and every one of you. Y'all be safe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Happy gardening!